In the world of professional tennis, where legends are forged and champions are made. DC, the glorious US capital. This week sees the famous faces of the tennis world arrive. There exists a tale that defies convention and redefines what it means to be a sporting prodigy. It's a story of raw talent, unparalleled determination, and an unconventional journey to stardom. This is the remarkable and unusual story of Yannick Sinner. Moment in time, winning Washington 2021. This is a day Yannick Sinner will remember for a very long time. The remarkable rise continues. The biggest title I won. The first ATP 500 crown. In this video, we'll unravel the layers of his ascent from his humble beginnings to the bright lights of professional tennis. You'll discover the unique qualities that set Sinner apart from his peers and have tennis enthusiasts worldwide eagerly awaiting his every match. So get ready and let's embark on a journey through the unusual and inspiring story of Yannick Sinner. A story that reminds us that in the world of sports, Sometimes the most extraordinary talents come from the most unexpected places. Yannick Sinner wins big. In the enchanting landscape of Enniken, a predominantly German-speaking region in northern Italy, a young prodigy named Yannick Sinner was born on August 16, 2001 into the loving family of Hans-Peter and Singlid Sinner. This close-knit family was also blessed with another member, Yannick's brother, Mark. Sinner's journey into the world of sports began at the tender age of three when he began skiing and playing tennis. Even in those early years, he displayed extraordinary talent. His skiing prowess quickly made him one of Italy's top junior skiers, securing a national championship in giant slalom at the tender age of eight and a national runner-up title by the time he reached 12. However, young Sinner's path was not a straight line, but rather a thrilling adventure filled with unexpected turns. At the age of seven, while he was training for skiing, Yannick temporarily parted ways with tennis, a decision made only to be reignited by the encouraging push from his father. Upon returning to the tennis court, he embarked on a new journey under the guidance of his first regular coach, Hedebert Meyer. Despite the undeniable tennis talent, the sport still lingered as his third priority, trailing behind the love for skiing and football. But life often has its own plans, and at the age of 13, the course of Yannick Sinner's destiny shifted dramatically. He made a resolute choice to leave behind the slopes and the football fields, opting to embrace tennis as his sole passion. He chose it over skiing because he longed for the direct competition, the margin for error, and the thrill of individual decision-making that tennis offered, setting it apart from team sports like football. This monumental decision led him to a new chapter. Sinner embarked on a solo journey to Bordighera, where he became a part of the Piatti Tennis Center. Under the watchful eyes of coaches Riccardo Piatti and Massimo Sartori, he was determined to nurture his tennis talent, a decision strongly supported by his parents. Living with the family of Luka Cechovic, one of his coaches, Sinner made this crucial transition from a part-time player to a full-time tennis enthusiast, transforming his life and career. Sinner first stepped onto the international stage in 2016, when he began competing on the ITF junior circuit. However, his junior career was characterized by limited success, a phase where he was yet to hit his stride. What makes Sinner's story even more extraordinary is his route to the top. In a deviation from the traditional path taken by many rising stars, he shifted his focus primarily to the professional tour at the conclusion of 2017. Unlike his peers who often participate in high-level grade 1 events, Yannick Sinner's junior record was notably different. He never played in the main draw of any such high-level grade 1 events in singles. In fact, the only higher-level grade A tournament he ventured into was the Trofeo Bonfiglio. While he faced an early exit in the opening round of Italy's Grade A tournament in 2017, the following year showed signs of his burgeoning talent as he reached the quarterfinals. It's essential to note that this was the sole junior event he took part in during 2018. His path never included participation in any of the prestigious Junior Grand Slam tournaments. Due to his limited exposure to high-level junior competitions, Sinner held a relatively low junior ranking of number 133 during his time in the junior circuit. It's evidence to his unconventional path and the distinctive journey that would ultimately define his professional career. Sinner made his mark on the ITF men's circuit in early 2018. In the latter part of the year, Sinner started to receive wildcard invitations to participate in ATP Challenger Tour events. The ATP Challenger Tour, the second-tier professional circuit sanctioned by 
the Association of Tennis Professionals, ATP, was the platform where he would showcase his talents on a grander stage. If you're enjoying this video, kindly click on the like and subscribe button. Despite his limited junior successes, it's worth noting that Sinner clinched an ITF title in doubles during that year, underlining his versatility and potential. By the end of the season, his determination and hard work began to yield results as he was ranked number 551 in the professional circuit, marking a significant step forward in his career. At the age of 17 years and 6 months, he accomplished a feat that left the tennis world in awe. In February 2019 at the ATP Challenger Tournament in Bergamo, Sinner clinched his first Challenger title, despite entering the event without any prior match wins at the Challenger level. It was an extraordinary achievement, making him the first person born in 2001 to reach a Challenger final. Notably, he also earned the distinction of being the youngest Italian in history to secure a Challenger title. With the title, Sinner's ATP ranking soared leaping over 200 spots to number 324, signifying the beginning of his ascent in the professional tennis ranks. After securing his first two ITF Futures titles, he made his entrance into the ATP Tour at the Hungarian Open as a lucky loser. There, he notched his first tour-level victory by defeating the home wildcard, Matej Vakus. Yeah, Ice cool. Brilliant. From Yannick Sinner. In the following week, Sinner demonstrated his prowess yet again by reaching his second ATP Challenger final in Ostrava, although he finished as the runner up to Camille Majerza. The second half of the season saw Sinner transitioning from the Challenger Tour to the ATP Tour more frequently. His breakthrough moment came at the Italian Open, where he secured his first ATP Masters victory against Steve Johnson. With his next ATP win at the Croatia Open Umag in July, he surged into the top 200. Sinner continued to make headlines as he claimed his second ATP Challenger title in Lexington, joining a select group of just 11 17-year-olds who had managed to secure multiple Challenger titles. Sinner's incredible journey through 2019 was concluded with another Challenger title in Ortisai, marking his third title of the season. He finished the year ranked world number 78, becoming the youngest player in the year-end top 80 since Rafael Nadal in 2003. His remarkable achievements were recognized when he was named the ATP Newcomer of the Year, solidifying his place as a rising star in the world of tennis. Early in the year 2020, Sinner made the second round of the 2020 Australian Open, recording his first Grand Slam main draw match win. As a wild card at the Rotterdam Open, he earned his first top 10 victory. Following the ATP Tour shutdown due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Sinner had a successful restart to the season. He reached the third round at the Rome Masters, highlighted by a victory over world number six. He then progressed to become the youngest quarterfinalist at the French Open since Novak Djokovic in 2006, and the first to make the quarterfinals on debut since Rafael Nadal in 2005. During the tournament, he defeated the US Open runner-up and world number seven. Sinner closed out the season by winning the Sofia Open for his first ATP title. He became the youngest Italian tour-level champion in the Open era and the youngest player overall to win an ATP title since Kai Nishikori in 2008. Sinner finished the year ranked world number 37. Yannick Sinner is a winner on the ATP Tour, a champion for the very first time. The Sofia Open is his, the first surely of plenty more titles to come. Sinner carried over his success from late 2020 into the start of the 2021 season. He won his second career ATP title at the Great Ocean Road Open. He became the youngest to win back-to-back -back ATP titles since Rafael Nadal in 2005. Partnering Riley Opelka, he won his first doubles title at the 2021 Atlanta Open. At the 2021 City Open in Washington, D.C., he won his third title and first ATP 500 title. ATP 500 crown for the Italian teenager. Sinner was the first Italian finalist and champion in Washington's tournament history, as well as the youngest ATP 500 and first team champion since the category was created in 2009. As a result, he entered the top 15 in the ATP rankings on the 9th of August 2021. Sinner also successfully defended his title at the Sofia Open as the top seed. At the 2021 European Open, he won his fifth career title and he became the youngest man to win five ATP titles since 19-year-old Novak Djokovic. On the 1st of November, Sinner became the first male player born in the 2000s to break into the top 10 after a semi-final appearance at the Vienna Open. He also became the youngest player to win an ATP Finals match on debut 
since Leighton Hewitt in Lisbon in 2000, and the first alternate to win a match since Janko Kipsarevic in London in 2011. Sinner finished the year at world number 10. At the 2022 Australian Open, Sinner became the fifth Italian man to reach the quarterfinals of a major in Melbourne. He hit the 100 wins milestone after 147 matches, 147 on tour, which was a faster rate than everyone in the top 10 besides Rafael Nadal, which was 137, and Novak Djokovic, 143. Sinner played a pivotal role in his team's Davis Cup triumph, contributing to a significant victory for his country. Sinner started the year 2023 on a high. Sinner won the 2023 Open Sud de France in Montpellier, his seventh title, becoming the first player to win a tour-level title in the season without having dropped a single set and the first since countryman Lorenzo Mussetti won the title in Naples in October 2022. He also reached back-to-back -back quarterfinals at the 2023 Wimbledon Championships and his first major semifinal. In August, he won his Maiden Masters 1000 title at the 2023 Canadian Open in Toronto, defeating Alex Di Menor in straight sets for his eighth ATP title. Yannick Sinner, a Masters 1000 champion. En route to the final, he defeated compatriot Matteo Berrettini, Andy Murray by walkover, Gael Monfils, and Tommy Paul. At the 2023 China Open, he defeated top seed and world number two, Carlos Alcaraz, his fourth tour-level win against the Spaniard, to reach his fifth final of the season. As a result, he reached world number four to become the second Italian in the history of the ATP rankings to reach the top five, joining Adriano Panada. He won his ninth title, defeating Daniil Medvedev. Sinner is an aggressive baseliner and is one of the hardest hitters on the ATP Tour. Sinner's ground stroke strength is his two-handed backhand, which he hits with more topspin than any other player on the Tour, registering an average of 1,858 revolutions per minute off the shot, along with the fifth best average speed of 111.2 kilometers per hour, 69.1 miles per hour. He also possesses a powerful first serve, which can reach up to speeds of 220 kilometers per hour, 137.3 miles per hour, although it has been criticized for its low average in percentage at 59.2% and it can frequently dip below 55%. Sinner, who's aiming to incorporate more variety into his game, hence why he has been developing his ability to serve and volley, as well as more frequently slicing and hitting drop shots, as opposed to repeatedly engaging in long, physically draining rallies from the baseline. Yannick Sinner's journey in the world of professional tennis is a testament to talent, hard work, and unwavering dedication. His path to greatness is a source of inspiration for fans and tennis enthusiasts worldwide. As we look ahead to the future, one thing is clear. Yannick Sinner's story is far from over. His remarkable journey is bound to continue with even greater milestones and extraordinary moments on the horizon. If you've enjoyed this glimpse into the world of Yannick Sinner and his incredible tennis journey, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more exciting updates on Yannick Sinner and the world of professional tennis. Your support means the world to us, and we can't wait to share more inspiring stories with you. Thank you for being part of this incredible journey, and we'll see you in the next video.